I can sum up this game simply. You don't just walk into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Mateo, Texas and stroll out with a victory. Those victories, my friend, must be earned and somebody will earn a win today in a huge game as we close in on kickoff. It's time for ESPN College Football. Ought to be a great one tonight. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet will have the call. Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium here in San Marcos. In 2002, the football field was renamed Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in honor of the former Texas State University football coach and director of athletics. For UTEP, Kirk, this is a good looking offense. It's a little bit different, though. Tell us about it. Well, I think the biggest challenge in being able to run a one back is how much pressure it puts on that offensive line and also on that one running back. You know, you can count on maybe one hand every year in the country how often you have a true difference maker in your back. And to be able to be a team that can rely on running the one back, you have got to be able to hand the football 20 to 25 times to one back who you know could be a difference in the football game. The Bulldogs came into the game ranked six. After that performance, they're gonna fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. And for Buffalo, they grab a W in the season opener. And for Reed, he had a touchdown run in this one. The Bulls stampede to a win, 28-24. In other games, the Broncos were ranked 21st. Now they hope just to hold on to a spot in the poll. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. Michigan State gets the W, 24-20. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the polls upside down when they're released. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25, and the stadium is shaking right now. And he hits him hard at the 18-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled right away. I tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. First and 10, ball on the 39. Great tackle at the 34. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 34. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 34-yard line. Third down, and this crowd is going crazy. And he is drilled at the 26. That's the second time that he sacked the quarterback today. They'll go to work at the 27. Second and 11. Ball on the 26. That's a backward pass. Get a little sloppy here with their ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 22. 
Everybody on their feet. And he throws right away. So that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Washington, options, left side. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. A couple of yards there on the option of the halfback. That makes it second and eight. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Tackled at about the 27 yard line. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Tackle for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Tackles him hard at the 39 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Third down. Third down again. Crowd a huge factor here. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Snyder was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 34. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He gets sacked on the play. We're through one quarter. Texas State's lead is two touchdowns. So the sack makes this third and very long. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Well, the defense did all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. This drive will start at the 20. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. This is where you get false starts. And he 
can't get away from the pressure. Loss of six on the play. That makes it fourth and long. They'll set up shop at the 19. They'll give it off here. And he's level at the 29. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Everybody on their feet. They want to see a stop right now. And down he goes. Right around the 26-yard line. And for McCollum, is a bit shaken up, but it looks like we could see him back on the field soon. They'll start this drive at the 43. Sack. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wolverines entered today's game ranked ninth in the country. And for Michigan, they are now in the driver's seat. Michigan on top, 3 0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Around the 40-yard line. Harvey picks up around five That's yards with that catch. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. The crowd at a fever pitch right now. And they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Put that man open, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Snags that one. Tackle made at the 32. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Got a man in and out of his hands. Second and 10. Ball on their own 32. to stop around the 35-yard line from their own 35-yard line. It's third down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Wolverines entered today's game ranked ninth in the country. This is the game we've been watching closely today. Here's a hotly contested battle. The Wolverines have the lead. 10-7. All right, Reese, back to our game. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Strike to his receiver, no good. Riley was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. And they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Third and long now after the sack. 
And this stadium is getting loud. The Miners don't like the looks of things. They're going to take their first time out. He airs it out. Tipped away. Anytime you can prevent a third down conversion, you're doing something right. Solid coverage. Fourth down. The offense will start at the 36. Fumble! And the defense is on it. Brought down around the 22-yard line. What was most impressive is how he followed the play, and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Boss is out for the tailback on the screen. Call the loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 14. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. From their own 14-yard line. Third down. Really a factor with a crowd noise here. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 18-yard line. Jones gains four yards on that reception. That makes it fourth and 12. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. They'll bring him down at the four. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and ten. Second down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. He throws it. He couldn't hang on. Incomplete. Third down. They've got their backs against the wall. This place is starting to get fired up. Nice run there. And he didn't get it up for the first. Well, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. They still have time to put up a few scores. The question is, will it be enough, and can their defense make enough stops for it to matter? Tries to thread the needle if it's not going to work. At the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Bacchus. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. Hey, you feel bad for this offense because they're clearly struggling, but they just haven't shown much at all today. As incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's see how the top 10 are faring today. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Michigan, here's a team trying to win the first game of the year from their own 28-yard line. Second down. Set, Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Taken down around the 38-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Harvey, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 38. Ready. 
corner's incomplete. Knocked away. Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. You wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Wants it all. Going deep. Incomplete. McCollum was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. They'll take over at the 38-yard line. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. His pass rushing dominance is bringing him close to the single game sack record. Well, this guy's putting on a clinic on how to be a dominant pass rusher. He's so well coached, but he also has a ton of intangibles that you just can't teach. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. McCollum, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 30 yard line. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it They'll go to work at the 39. Looking for his man, incomplete. Riley was the intended receiver on the play. That makes so it it's second and ten. ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Throws out and through his hands. Riley was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. From their own 39-yard line. Third down. Washington drops back to pass, and they got him. He's now equal the all-time mark for sacks in one game. Well, given his effort today, this is an honor nobody could argue with. They'll go to work at the 33. Ready, Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Wolverines entered today's game ranked ninth in the country and with an opportunity to move even higher. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Michigan, they look to start their season off on the right foot. Michigan on top, 31-14. It's 34 to nothing in this one. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. He's going to come up with a sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Well, Herbie, we really didn't see this one coming. Total dominance through three quarters. The Bobcats lead 34-0. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Osborne, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. They'll set up shot at the 47-yard line. That quickly incomplete. McCollum was the intended receiver on the play. From the 47 yard line. Second, second down. Ready. What? And he's level at the 41 yard line. Hill with the tackle at the 41 yard line. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on the 41 yard line. Under pressure, lets it go. Riley was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They come out in an empty backfield. 
Quick strike, and he drops it. And they'll take over on downs. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. He wants it all. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Plenty of action going on in the top 10. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Michigan, they're trying to win their first game of the year. The Wolverines have the lead 38-14. Thanks, Reese. 34-7 in our game. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 36. Gets it. He's in space. And he tackles him hard at the 43. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. That brings up fourth and three. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 13. They'll line up with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. Hill makes the tackle at the 15-yard line. That brings up third and 12. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Back to pass. He steps up. He's wrapped up for the sack. Nobody's ever recorded this many sacks in one game. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody obliterate an offensive line the way he has today. Even those guys have to be impressed with how awesome he's been. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Snyder! Snyder! Cut. And he might want it all here, and does! First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Foster on the coverage. That makes From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 30. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. We've got third and 12. Ball on their own 30. He wants it all going long. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Wolverines were ranked ninth in the country. After that performance, I think we all see why. And for Michigan, they grab a W in the season opener. They'll start at the 20-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Washington gets the call, and he hits him hard at the 23. Texas State's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 23-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. We're down to just... Just a minute in this game. They got 
to him before he could get back to the line. The Miners don't like the looks of things. They're going to take their first time out. That'll bring up third and long. Third down to what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 11-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. And he's sacked. UTEP's going to have to use their second time out of the half. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You don't just stroll into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Marcos, Texas, and waltz out with a victory.
kickoff coming up from San Marcos. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry. We'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium here in San Marcos, opened in 1981 and home to the Texas State University Bobcats. For SMU, Kirk, just give us an overview of what kind of style we're going to see from this offense today. We'll see them utilize the run and shoot, and so we'll also see a defense that's got to stay on its toes. There's so much going on in this offense. You've got guys in motion. You've got lots of receivers on the field going all over the place. It can be hard to keep track of everything. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Panthers and the Bearcats squaring off in the River City rivalry. And for Cincinnati, their season starts with a win. Cincinnati gets the W, 24-6. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Third and 11, ball on the 24-yard line. The intensity of this place is increasing. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. They'll get the ball here at the 20. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 17. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third. Third and 13. Ball on the 17. It's getting louder down on the field. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be... Tosses left, intercepted, and down he goes to 33-yard line. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Q's ready to fill the Carrier Dome and tee it up in Syracuse. This one's been entertaining us all day long. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Orange lead 38-31. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he is drilled at the 13. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So the sack makes this a second and long. Going deep, lays it out there. Intercepted. And he's taken down at about the 49. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's go to T-Town, Tuscaloosa. In another game. Let's have a look at what's going on in Syracuse. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Trojans keep pounding away on the ground and they find Pater. Tackling is optional. Nobody can get a hand on the offense. High scoring game and all tied up. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. 
The offense will take over at the 13 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Gaines was the intended receiver on the play. So it's that second and ten. ten. Ball on the 13. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Ten yard line. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to get you up to date from Syracuse. You can feel the shock waves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. They line up at the ten. It's third down. Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. on the play. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as that an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Quick strike and he drops it. Thornton was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Ready. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 37. This is where you get... Ball starts. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. From the 49-yard line, first down. Let's go! Here's the tight end. Drop. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 49. Ready. Cut. Throws a strike over the middle. Brought down at the 45. The SMU's going to take their first time out of the half. Makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That brings up fourth and seven. They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. a great tackle at the nine yard line there's sack number four well he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball that's going to lead to turnovers they find themselves in a hole here after that sack it's second and long and they make the stop around the 16 yard line with the tackle at the 16 yard line that makes it third and 11 from their own 16 yard line it's third down. Really a factor with the crowd noise here. He's wrapped up for the sack.
They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. And he's level at the 19-yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Wolverines come into today's game, the fifth-ranked team in the country. And for Michigan, they get into the end zone first through the air. The Wolverines have the lead, 7-0. From their own 19-yard line, third down. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. Fires out quick, it's picked off. And he's tackled at the 29. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle at the 27-yard line. About five yards on the screen. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Let's go! Going right. Intercepted. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Razorbacks entered the game ranked sixth in the country, but feeling the heat to hold their lofty spot. And for Arkansas, blowing their way into the end zone on the ground. The Razorbacks on top, 10-7. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you can ever expect that to happen, though. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Less than three minutes in the game. He's looking to pass, and he can't get away from the pressure. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They'll start at the 20-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. That's a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So the sack makes this third and very long. Rodgers, back to pass, and he tackles him hard at the one. And that is one inspired defense right now. They're going to have to make some adjustments next time they get the ball to try to slow down this pass rush. It's first down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. It's second and ten. Second down. They've got their backs against the wall. Let's it go. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down. 
This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. And now the ball is loose. It's scooped up, and there's another one. But it always makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 19. Open receiver, no good. Was the intended receiver on the play? That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 19. McIntyre up the gut. Nice run up the middle. Looks like someone was called for holding. I can sum up this game simply. 
You don't just walk into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Mateo, Texas and stroll out with a victory. Those victories, my friend, must be earned. And somebody will earn a win today in a huge game as we close in on kickoff. Time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. Brad, take it away. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Checking in on action in College Park. There was never any room to breathe in this game. Maryland wins it 24-17. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. The crowd is deafening. Got a man open. Bad pass. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Great hold by the that defense. They were expecting long. the pass play, and they defended it very well. This drive will start at the 25-yard line. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Let's go. Robinson drops back to pass, and he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. This place is starting to get fired up. Good shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. They'll set up shot at the 28-yard line. Of five there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 23-yard line, third down. This crowd in full throat right now. Drops back to pass. Temple was the intended receiver on that pass, so that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires in a hurry. Interception. The 10. Touchdown by Cats. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. The offense will start at the 25. to the 25-yard line. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Michigan State and Notre Dame hook up in the battle for the megaphone. And for Notre Dame, they're looking to win their third straight. The Fighting Irish have the edge 16-3.
So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. And that'll do it for the first half. 10-0, Texas State. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He lets it fly. Brady drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. This place is getting loud. Brad, do you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback and an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? They'll start this drive at the 12-yard line. Picks it up. Touchdown, Bobcats. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at about the 31. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on the 31-yard line. This is where you get false starts. It's an active receiver, and he can't hang on. The intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. The offense will take over at the 32. Just under two minutes in the game. They bring their quarterback down. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. That'll make it second and long. He airs it out. No, incomplete. It's third and long. Ball on the 23. And this stadium is getting loud. They'll make the sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play, and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. He's out of bounds at the 28. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. He gets rid of this one. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Gators were ranked number 23. A tough, solid performance, but still a loss. Will they be able to stay in the polls? Did not think it was possible. A major upset today. Where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Everybody on their feet. They'll bring it up.
bring him down around the 46-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Spikes the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Under a minute left. at the 44. He's changing things up. And they make the stop right around the 34. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. They'll line it up again on third down. Taken down around the 44-yard line. Now you're making it very hard for yourself to come back when you make play calls like that. This is not the time to run the football. Receivers got it on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, what's going on over in the ACC? The Cavaliers grab the win, 28-21. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Bobcats of Texas State are on the field at Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Marcos, Texas. 
Pre-game preparation is just about set to wrap up, and we're almost ready for kickoff. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. What are some of the things you're looking for from them on offense? It's the kind of offense that can give a defense a headache. They go back and forth from the run to the pass so smoothly that you never really know what's coming next. Tries to pitch it and now the ball is loose. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Mountaineers came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. And for Maryland, they remain red hot. Second down at 16 to go. Ball on the 19. Try to throw a little screen and it's picked off. These tackles around the 12 yard line. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. The Sooners have the perfect connection and a touchdown. From their own 20-yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Kennedy comes away with two yards on the carry. That'll bring up third and eight. Third and eight. Ball on their own 22. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Brown was the intended target and that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here's the pass. Broken up. He threw that to a guy who was well covered, and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. Loose football. And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. The coach wants to challenge this one, so we'll take another look at the possible fumble. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Here comes the screen, and they can't connect. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Ready. Hot. Looking to throw. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. You know, this defensive end has tremendous athletic ability and speed. He also has size to go with it. When you combine all those skills, it's no wonder he's getting after this quarterback. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. And this crowd is going crazy. And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Take you out to a battle in the Pac-12. And for UCLA, that big 
beautiful zero remains in the lost column. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. There's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Updating what's going on in Auburn. And for Babcock, he grabbed one for a touchdown. The Tigers win it, 24-10. Meanwhile, a real battle going down in Boise. This was a tight one to the very end. And for Wood, he was unstoppable. Five touchdowns on the game. Best way to describe this kid, straight warrior. BYU takes the W, 34-31. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Slings it to his fullback. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 24. Quick strike, and he drops it. Caught the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Throws, and it's incomplete. Hill learned he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. We've got third and ten. Ball on 24. Defense coming and the ball comes out. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. The defense looking for a stop or a turnover here on a vital drive by the offense. Just under two to go in the game. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Great concentration to pull it in. And he's level at the 36. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. That's a loss of eight yards. You know, the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way, he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. Third and long, and they could really use a big play here. The student section's going crazy. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down at the 36-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Big fourth down here for the defense. A stop here, and they will come away with the victory. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. He wants it all going long. No, incomplete. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. Gain of 25 yards. First down. First 
And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Jones, back to pass. And he is drilled at the 37.
I can sum up this game simply. You don't just walk into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Mateo, Texas and stroll out with a victory. Those victories, my friend, must be earned and somebody will earn a win today in a huge game as we close in on kickoff. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry. We'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Wolverines came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the pollsters move them down? And for Purdue, they've now won three in a row. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. With the pass, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. Third and ten. Third and ten. Ball on the 25. The crowd is deafening. Ball is loose. Fumble. Picked up by the defense. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. He's taken down around the 16-yard line. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese? In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. And for Texas Tech, they're looking to stay undefeated. The Red Raiders are out front, 10-7. All right, Reese, back to our game. From their own 16-yard line, second down. Taken down at the 16. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That brings up third and 13. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. The Bobcats with a touchdown lead. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. This place is getting loud. Throws incomplete. Osborne was the intended receiver on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. That the defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. They'll get the ball here at the 20. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. The Lobos taking their first time out of the half. That'll make it second and one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Osborne was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. It's third and long. Ball on their own 14. It's getting louder down on the field. They'll run the option. It is out of the ball is up for grabs. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with the veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. Well, we played a half of football. Texas State's in front by 14.
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's got him up in the backfield. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. It's second and 15. Ball on the 20-yard line. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 20. This place is starting to get fired up. And he got it! And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. Gain of 47 yards. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Ryan, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 33-yard line, second down. Tackles him hard at the 34. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Tackle around the 46-yard line. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to get you up to date from Lubbock. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Oklahoma, they're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. That's three down and one to go. Texas State's lead is two touchdowns. Two minutes left in the ball game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Jackson was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And the stadium is shaking right now. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. He's tackled at about the 49. They'll go to work at the 32. Open, incomplete. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Sooners roll into today's game ranked third in the nation. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Wants to go long and done. Incomplete. I think the quarterback that time just felt the pressure and just got rid of the football before he took the sack. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. The intensity of this place is increasing. Quick strike to the back. No good. Well, that was a really tough drive for this offense. You've got to believe the offensive coordinator, really the entire offensive staff, they're going to try to huddle up with this offense, try to make sure everybody's on the same page, try to forget about that last drive, Let's try to find some confidence. It's intercepted, and that should do it. There's a missed tackle. 
And they make the stop at about the 39 yard line. The offense will start at the 26 yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Ryan, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. From their own 26-yard line. It's third down. Crowd a huge factor here. Triplet back to throw. They bring the quarterback down. He's even closer now to that school record for sacks in a single season. This guy's beating the man across from him. Double teams, triple teams, chip locks, help from the backfield, you name it. Nothing's been able to slow this guy down. And he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Just about set to get whacked, and several guys will get whacked. Western Athletic Conference action coming up. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. 
but it's time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a peek at what's going on in Tallahassee. And for FSU, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. And he is drilled the 38-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. He's going to air it long, and it's picked off. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Seminoles arrive at today's game ranked third, but believing they're the top team in the land. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for FSU, they're aiming for their seventh win in a row. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown, Bobcats. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. Idaho takes the field, trailing by seven as we near halftime. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 28. Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. Brad, you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback and an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. And this offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. And not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. Try to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. I'd love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Tackle made at the 26. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That'll bring up third and eight. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 26. We've played a half of football here. The Bobcats with a 10-point lead. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Way too much jersey there. Pretty easy call for the officials. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. They'll bring him down at the 14. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. 
The Horned Frogs had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. And for TCU, their winning streak is at a half dozen. The Horned Frogs leap to victory, 34-17. From their own 14-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and long. From their own 18-yard line, it's third down. It's getting louder down on the field. And he's level to the 13-yard line. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Seminoles came into the game ranked third. That's not going to last. And for Boston College, they've won two straight. They're set to go for another round. This drive will start at the 20-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. And he's immediately tackled. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. From their own 24-yard line, third down. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When a film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Schultz drops to throw. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 16-yard line, second down. Throws falling back, incomplete. Christensen, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. It's third and ten. Ball on the 16. This place is starting to get fired up. Boy, the defensive coordinator in the defense has to be very proud of their efforts and what they've been able to do to rattle this quarterback. He's really struggled on this drive. Now here they are facing a fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. And for Bradford, it's a new school record for single-season sacks. This guy's been a destroyer all year long getting into the backfield, and I'm sure he's happy to have this new record.
Spartan spirit permeates San Jose as the teams have taken the field and San Jose State completing its warm-ups in search of an all-important home victory. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. They'll start at the 34. And they got him. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time for a great West Coast clash in the Pac-12. The Buffaloes unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. We've played one quarter. No score here. in and out of his hands. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Drops back to pass. Tackle around the 45-yard line. They were very fortunate to come up with that pass. Not the smartest throw that he could have made, but it worked. It just makes you a little nervous when he lets that thing go. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. He's out of bounds at about the 41. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. San Jose State's a little confused. They use their second timeout. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Here's the option left. He tackles him for a loss. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Auburn taking the field in the loveliest village on the plains. A 17-17 tie. Well, we've seen some big upsets, and that one would measure right up with the best of them. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, let's check out what's happening in Auburn. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Auburn, they're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. So we've played two quarters. Still no score. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, wait till you see what just happened in Eugene. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Oregon, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Tigers come into this one ranked number four. And for Auburn, they've ripped off eight straight Ws. Third down and 11 coming up here. 
Ball on their own 24. Set. Point 98. Point 98. Huh. And he tackles him hard at the 13. But the defense is fired up, so responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Brought down around the nine yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and ten. They line up at the nine. Second down. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. From the 25-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Ducks came into today's game ranked number one in the country. Boy, are their critics going to have a field day after this performance. David took the little rock. He slung it with all his might, and it hit Goliath right on the noggin. And down goes the Giant. Pitch out. He fights forward to about the 19. Going. Gains around three yards on the toss play. Really just nowhere to go on that play. It's a good job of these guys slowing down that running game. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Here we go. Huh. And he's sacked. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. Kicks away, and this is no good. He didn't have the leg for it. You know, it's times like this that I wish the offense started from the 35 or 40-yard line in overtime. I think you should have to work your way into scoring position. The
we take you to Logan, Utah, where Utah State is on the field and wrapping up their pregame warm-up. Everybody make sure that those Achilles are loose, get those quads in shape. We're going to have a good one today from Logan. Time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. Brad, take it away. Logan, Utah, on the banks of the Logan River, plays host to this incredible college football battle. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit in the booth, Aaron Andrews on the sideline, and we're ready to bring you an exciting game. Welcome to another game of NCAA football. We're brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Today's games between the Texas State Bobcats and the Aggies of Utah State. For Utah State, Kirk, this is a good-looking offense. It's a little bit different, though. Tell us about it. I think the disadvantage of running a spread attack is whether or not you have the proper personnel to really make a difference in running this offense. If you've got the personnel, if you have the quarterback and a running back who can really make a team to pay attention, you got some speed on the outside. This is an offense that's very difficult to stop. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. In another game, the Spartans come into today's game ranked fourth and hoping a win can move them up in the rankings. The Spartans have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown, and it's getting late in the fourth. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Spartans come into the game ranked fourth in the nation. And for Michigan State, they win their ninth game of the season. Michigan State gets the W, 23-20. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He's level at the 24. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punt the ball to change the field position. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. They bring him down. You know, that time, I think he saw the pressure was coming. He tried to make a play as a quarterback, and I can understand that. But eventually, you've got to be able to get rid of the football before you take a sack. That is a minus for the quarterback. So at the end of the half, now this one's scoreless. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at Lovett. The Red Raiders' defense is buzzing after a huge pick six for a score. The Red Raiders are out front, 10-6. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Here's the tight end, drops. Third down now, they need to get it out to midfield. Third down. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And that'll be three and out. You've got one team fighting for overtime, another one who wants this thing over with now. 
These seconds should be pretty thrilling. Under a minute left. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Baker, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31. And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. Utah State will take their first time out of the half. That'll bring up third and long. So the sack makes this third and very long. He's going to come up with a sack. So the Aggies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. That makes it fourth and long. I can sum up this game simply. You don't just walk into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Mateo, Texas and stroll out with a victory. Those victories, my friend, must be earned. And somebody will earn a win today in a huge game as we close in on kickoff. Time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. Brad, take it away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 24. He gets rid of this one. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Seminoles came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. Did not think it was possible. A major upset today. Virginia Tech gets the W, 38-17. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. 
So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. The offense will take over at the nine-yard line. Tackled right away. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Throws this one out to the right. He gets another, and this is a big one. The 50. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You don't just stroll into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Marcos, Texas, and waltz out with a victory. Kickoff coming up from San Marcos. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. from their own 31-yard line. First down. And they get the sack. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Seminoles came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're gonna fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. We've seen an upset. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Can't find anyone open. And he's level at the 38. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Warren was the intended target, and that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive, but I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. And 
they make the stop at the 36. I thought that one was going to sail high, but he pulled it down. Hey, Brad, the ball is never out of reach if this young man is on the receiving end. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. That'll make it fourth and two. They'll take over at the 26-yard line. the 29 a couple maybe three yards on that run so at the end of one no score here from their own 29 yard line second down right running the option right down at the 28 yard line that makes it 37 everybody on their feet Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. He scrambled. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Because your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Davis was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 26. Slings it. He's to the 40. Tackle around the 48-yard line. Amos brings him down at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's a great tackle at the 40. Louisiana Tech's going to use their first time out of the half here. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. The student section's going crazy. The Bobcats will use their first time out of the half. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Passes it, and it's picked out of the sky. Gets past the tackler, and he's taken down right around the 34. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's on the run. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. Louisiana Tech will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. This place is starting to get fired up. Bring him down at the 33. The Bobcats using their third and last timeout. They'll set up shot at the 24. They're crowding the line. Right on the run. Decent run here, right side. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. 
So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. Texas State in front, 7-0. They'll start this drive at the 25. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. He has really good pass rushing skills, but there he sized up the play smartly and put a quick end to it. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 25. The crowd at a fever pitch right now. And they got him. Now he's got the school record for sacks in a season. This guy's been a destroyer all year long getting into the backfield. And I'm sure he's happy to have this new record. It's first down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. He's tackled around the three-yard line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run. They got the better of them that time. It's second down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. Good open field tackle. Jennings with the tackle at the 11-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. This place is getting loud. They bring him down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. The offense will start at the 25-yard line. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The youth come into this one ranked 18. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Utah, they strike through the air and score a touchdown. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 10-0, Texas State. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Just under three to go in regulation. the toughness here by this quarterback He's sitting in into the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he's going to be set. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Back to pass. Gets it out in a hurry. And this one's going to get intercepted. And he's tackled at the 44. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air. They come away with a dagger of an interception. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Wait till you see what's happening in Seattle. And for Chandler, he had a big day with three touchdown runs. All right, Reese, back to our game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. They're changing the play. Hand off up the middle. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Under a minute left. 
Fires it quickly. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. I can sum up this game simply. You don't just walk into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Mateo, Texas and stroll out with a victory. Those victories, my friend, must be earned and somebody will earn a win today in a huge game as we close in on kickoff. That's gonna do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call.
Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Razorbacks take the field in this game, ranked number six. And for Mississippi State, they've now dumped four in a row. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Fights forward to about the 19. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. on the play. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. They line up at the five. Third down. And the stadium is shaking right now. Throws out and through his hands. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Nice run up the middle. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Option to the right. Gets out to around the 45. But hold on. We got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. Poland. Options out. And they make the stop right around the 38 yard line. It's absolutely deafening down there. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wolfpack of North Carolina State and the Tigers of Clemson. The essence, the fabric of a rivalry in the Textile Bowl. The Tigers unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Played one quarter. Still no score. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. If you don't get the blocking on the outside, the toss play is going to fail 99% of the time. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48s. This is where you get false starts. They'll make the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit for quarterback. we will be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. The offense will take over at the 20. What? 
slings it. Tackle around the 24-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, caught by the fullback. And they push him out right around the 30. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. This crowd is energetic, and they'd really love to see a stop right here. Looks like an option here. Runs it left for a decent game. Running the option on third down is perhaps a risky call, but the defense didn't look totally prepared for it, and they gave up the first down yardage. Try to change the play. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. That could be a check with me right there. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Everybody on their feet. Looks like he might audible out of that play. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 27-yard line. Here's the option. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. We've played a half. No score here. They'll set up shop at the 37. Poland running the option. Brought down in the open field. Looks like someone was called for holding. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. Makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Let's get to a game of two yards. That'll make it second and long. Option left. They go to the left for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up third and 14. This crowd in full throat right now. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. And he is drilled at the 27. That's the second time that he sacked the quarterback today. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And he's leveled at the 37-yard line. Second and nine. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Wilson, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third and nine. Ball on the 37 yard line. The student section's going crazy. He's hit and taken down. 11 
yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Option. It's on the ground. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Wolfpack of NC State and the Clemson Tigers square off in the Textile Bowl. This is a game we've been watching closely today. These two teams hate each other. This drive will start at the 25. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. And they get to him again. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. Third and long now after the sack. So this crowd is making their presence felt. And they got him again. That makes it fourth and long. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He wants it all going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. The pass is incomplete. We'll see the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, second down. He may have changed things up here. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. There's a strike complete. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. This is their last opportunity to stay in the game. A big stop by the defense, and this game is in the books. He heaves it deep. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game.
There is no way to ever forget the Alamo Dome. San Antonio, Texas, our site. You're taking a peek at two teams who certainly want to make it a most memorable day. Warm-ups are wrapping up, fans are ready to go, and so are we. Kickoff is coming. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. And out comes the offense. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Checking out the action in Cincinnati. And for Warren, he gets off with big numbers. Five touchdown passes on the day. Best way to describe this kid Straight warrior. The Bearcats get the victory. 38-17. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. And he's tackled around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. It's third down. And he hits him hard at the 11 yard line. They'll start at the 20 yard line. made around the 20 yard line flags are down and this one might be on the offense well when holding is that obvious the official most definitely is going to bust him so it's first down and an eternity He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He scrambled. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. From their own 16-yard line, third down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. Now he's scrambling, and they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Clean, old-fashioned hate, and that's putting it mildly. Georgia and Georgia Tech square off. And for Georgia, 11 straight wins. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 27.
brought down right around the 26-yard line. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. We take you out to a battle in the Big Ten where the action's always tough and hard-nosed. Elsewhere, Penn State taking the field in University Park. The Nittany Lions keep pounding away on the ground and they find pay dirt. Penn State's on top, 24-23. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. They bring him down. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that. Feeling the pressure and he fumbles the football. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. at the 26 call it a loss of one yard on the play that'll bring up second and 12 from their own 26 yard line it's second down he gets rid of this one let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update Oregon and Oregon State in the somewhat ironically named Civil War. Here's a hotly contested battle. Third down and 12. Ball on the 26. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And for Alston, this is now the most storied season a quarterback has had in school history. He's taken apart every secondary they've faced, and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. They'll go to work at the 21. And they got it. That is a loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. That's three down and one to go. Texas State's got a 13-point lead. So the sack makes this a second and long. Less than three minutes in the game. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 15. Yeah. On the ground with the tailback. He gets to about the 27-yard line. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. The penalty digs him a big hole with third and long. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass rush? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Fourth and long here after the sack. Amos awaiting the return. It's away. Short punt.
The offense will start at the 11. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. And for Curry, the team's single-season reception record is now his. Sure, he's had some drops along the way, but he never hangs his head. Never gets down on anyone for a bad pass or missed block. You need that. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. To the 20. Number 31 makes the interception. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. All right, let's check in on some games with major BCS implications. And for Auburn, they're shooting for their 11th victory of the season. And for Babcock, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Tigers have the lead, 7-0. Middle of the second quarter. They'll go to work at the 20. Under a minute left in the game. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. West, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, second down. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So the sack makes this third and very low. We've got a safety.
in San Mateo, Texas today, Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium is alive. And for those who think that they might just stroll in and get a victory on Jim Wacker Field, well, the kids might say, that's whack. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry. We'll be keeping your finger on the pulse. They'll start at the eight-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's get you up to date on everything going on in the top 25. And for Texas, they move into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. So it's second and 10. Ball on the eight-yard line. Tailback. That's a great tackle. The nine-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's third and nine. Ball on their own nine. And he tackles him hard at the two-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Jones takes it up the middle. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 32. Right around midfield. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Here's the option. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. On the run. Nice run to the outside. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. The crowd is really letting them hear it. And he's leveled at the 40-yard line. Less than 12 yards on the play. Fourth down. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Rose had a man wide open and he missed him. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Army and Navy meet in the battle for the Commander-in-Chief trophy. And when two service academies play, they fight to the bitter end. Here was a game where both teams dispensed with the pleasantries. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they make the stop at the 44. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Crowd's going to be a factor here on third and short. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. At about the 25 yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 25. Throws to the top. 
tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Third and 11, ball on the 25-yard line. And this place is rocking. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. The offense will start at the 13-yard line. the sack. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top 25. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Texas, eight wins is always a good benchmark for success. So the sack makes this a second and long. They'll get him for a loss. It's third down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. Defense and their short yardage packing. They'll bring him down at the one yard line. The punter will line up deep in his own end zone. It's away, short punt. This drive will start at the 25. Just over two minutes in the game. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Terrific top 25 matchup today. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Kansas State, they reach the end zone with an aerial dart. From their own 36-yard line. First down. First was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Open receiver, no good. Jones, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. And this crowd is going crazy. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. So it's fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Turnover on downs. It might be do or die right now for this offense with less than two minutes to play. the 25 yard line first picks up around five yards with that catch that brings up second and five just over a minute left and he stops the clock with a spike from their own 25 yard line third down Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. Looks for a running back incomplete. He comes up short. I know sometimes backs don't have the greatest hands, but the quarterback is being too careful here. You just got to hit him with it. So they're going to go for it here. Taken down at the 37-yard line. 
Jennings brings him down the 37 yard line. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 37. Throws it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 37. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. It's absolutely deafening down there. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He lets it go. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. Again on fourth down. You got to be kidding me. That is a complete lack of discipline by this defense. That was their second chance to get this offense off the field, and they couldn't do it. We have less than a minute to go. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second. Trying to change the play. The spike will stop the clock. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The crowd at a fever pitch right now. He's got it out to his tight end. He's out of bounds with the 32-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Well, they're two for two on fourth down so far on this drive. Why not try it again? Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Number 57 with the tackle at the 26-yard line. First down. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry-up offense. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. And he might want it all here and does!
so many great games, so many great players, so many championships decided. And now another chapter unfolds. Warm-ups are concluding, and we're just about set for the start of the Orange Bowl. Time for ESPN's college football. In the booth tonight, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Time for Brad to take it away. This is the one and only Orange Bowl, where thousands of devoted fans hope to start off their new year with a victory. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreit in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Tonight's primetime matchup is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. And it's a matchup between the Wolfpack and the Bobcats. And here come both teams. It's time to go bowling. We're privileged to bring you the play-by-play -play of this highly anticipated bowl game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. They'll take over at the 45. And he's taken down at the 43. The toss play wasn't working there. Loss of about two. That brings up second and 13. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Fights forward to about the 43. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, second down. to his receiver. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get that just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30. And he's sacked. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Throws out to the running back. No good. Richardson was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. They'll start this drive at the 10-yard line. Play action. Defense coming. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. 
Second and ten. Ball on their own ten. Throws falling back and finds his man. And he's tackled around the 15-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. From their own 15-yard line, third down. Good tackle there in space. Fourth down. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. And this offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. And not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Got a man in and out of his hands. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of eight yards. That makes it fourth and long. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Quick strike and he drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 12. quickly and he's got his man they'll bring him down around the 21 yard line I think it was a great play call and it was very well executed any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play short yardage situation here it's third and one Stop at the 17. Call the loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Miller was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. This is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. They'll set up shot at the 28. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that.
So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. That's a great tackle at the 12-yard line. He's not far at all now from the single-season sack record. You know, once his motor gets going toward the quarterback, it doesn't stop until the whistle blows. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and long. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 17. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's going to air it long. The pass ball is incomplete. Clark, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. It's third down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. What? And down he goes at the six. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. Fourth and nine. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll make it fourth and six. This drive will start at the 29. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Caught the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 29. And he's going to be sacked. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback. Not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Out to the halfback, open, and he can't pull it in. Richardson is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Let's go. 
Cantrell gets the ball. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. It's third down and long, and losing by a possession, I would expect them to have to go to the air. Passes back across his body, but nobody there. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball, I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Holding penalties can really kill momentum. But sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. So it's first down and an eternity. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Second and long. Ball on the 42. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Meets the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. down they've got to have points in less than two minutes to do something about it quick strike to the back and he drops it from their own 31 yard line second down Screen pass. He's got his half back. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. A gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just over a minute left. Brought down around the 49-yard line. This flag came from the umpire, and that means this is probably holding. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and long here. Let's see what the offensive coordinators come up with. And this quarterback needs a conversion here. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. It's fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fires it quickly. Huge play for the defense. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense.
EA Sports. It's in the game.